In this video, I'm going to show you how to stream your PS5 gameplay on Discord. Now to do this, it's also going to require a PC. So make sure you have that set up. And then to start, we're going to go to our settings. So go to the top right, that gears icon. So click on settings and then go down to system. Then go down to remote play and then click on enable remote play. Now make sure remote play is turned on for the account you're going to use. Perfect. Now, once that's enabled, then you're going to want to pull up a browser on your computer. And then once you have a browser pulled up, go ahead and type in remote play. And that first option in Google, we're going to want the remote play playstation.net website. So go ahead and click on PS remote play and then you're going to click download and then download this software for your computer. And then once it's downloaded, you're going to want to sign in to your PSN account. And then once you're signed in, you're going to want to connect it to your PS5. And then this is just reminding you to make sure your remote play is enabled. And now, as you can see, we are connected to our PS5. But the key here is you cannot use the controller for your PS5 that's connected to your PS5 because it'll make you log in and then it'll kick you out of the remote play. So you need to make sure that you have a controller that is connected to your PC. So to use a PS5 controller on your PC, you can either connect it via Bluetooth or connect it via USB-C cable. So we're going to connect the controller via the USB-C cable. And then once you're connected, you're going to want to bring up Discord. And then once you're in Discord, you can go ahead and click on one of the ch voice channels that you have. Once you're in one of your voice channels, you can go ahead and down and click on share your screen and you can share your PS remote play screen. And you can click here and then select go live, and then you will be casting your PS5 remote play to your Discord. And then make sure your microphone's enabled, just so you're getting audio as well as you're streaming to Discord. So it's as simple as that. Hopefully you found that valuable, and if there's any better tips and tricks, please drop them in the comments below. Go ahead and like and subscribe.